coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Many in Southwest Saskatchewan were reminded that winter can arrive early and with a vengeance, with temperatures over 30 degrees below the normal. Floats and other colorful entries were ready to hit the streets of Swift Current for the light parade presented by the Swift Current Lions Club. The Swift Current Christian Taekwondo Club raised over $4,500 during a special fundraiser earlier this year. Thanks for joining us here today. The official start to winter kicks in on December the 21st, and according to Environment Canada, there shouldn't be too many surprises in the long-term forecast. As the month of November concluded on a bitterly cold note with extreme wind chills and weather advisories, many in southwest Saskatchewan were reminded that winter can arrive early and with a vengeance, with temperatures over 30 degrees below the normal. And now as we head into the month of December and look forward to the holiday season, Environment Canada is offering this ray of hope for the coming weeks. We think across Saskatchewan, uh, we're calling for our forecast from December, January, February as being closer to, to normal to above, to actually milder than normal. And um, so that's what our call is. I wouldn't bet the family farm on it, but I, I think it's, uh, it's what our best models are, are showing. And the reason for it is we think there's a Pacific influence to our winter. El Nino is, is yes, it's there, it's weak, but regardless of its strength, it does give us more of a Pacific flavor. And, um, and also what we're seeing is over northwestern, uh, uh, the northwest territories over the Yukon and Alaska, we're also calling for warmer than normal conditions. So where the source region of the cold air is, um, we're calling for it to be milder than normal. Philip adds that weather conditions can change quickly. And the more prepared you are before heading outdoors or on the roadway, the better off you'll be is pay attention to the forecast. These are not just done by throwing darts on a dartboard. These are looking at the best science that, that, that we can get. And, uh, and, and we normally can get it right, uh, particularly in the wintertime. Um, but, but heed those warnings and, uh, uh, as, as almost the, the gospel. And, um, and then I think you'll be in far better shape as to uh, you know, understand. I mean, always being prepared is the number one uh, rule of, of heading out in, in dangerous kind of situations. And, um, and, and normally these forecasts, you'll see them as seven days long. Well, you know, they're not as accurate in the seventh day as they are in the first day. The short-term weather forecast is calling for more seasonal weather across southwest Saskatchewan. The normal high for this time of the year sits at minus 4, with a low of minus 14. What can you do to brighten a person's day? How would you feel doing something good for a person in need? What if a single thought could change a person's life? What can you do to make someone's life better? Helping others is the greatest gift we can give. Give for good. To say thank you and to spread some Christmas cheer, our classroom will be making and delivering thank you cards for community workers in our city, including police, fire, and EMS workers. We are spreading Christmas cheer around our community to remind others that people care about them. Fundraise for money with a bake sale, selling bracelets, and lemonade, but we have some other stuff we can do to help out too. We'll hand the money to the ABS, CB, and Network Channel 2 in the Philippines, so they can give the money to the Philippines. And we're going to give food and books to the safe shelter. We're doing a dodgeball for our event, um, a tournament, so it's all for like um, the classes in middle years, so anyone can join. All the money t that we get towards the, um, the dodgeball tournament is going to the foundation of kids' sport. It makes me feel good because I'm doing something for other people around the world. It's kind of showing compassion and just helping other people out. If people are in other countries and fighting war and stuff, they can have a chance to play a sport and have a lot of fun. Because we all carry an invisible bucket, and if we be nice to each other, we'll all fill each other's buckets. And if we be mean to other people, We'll 
we won't fill other people's buckets and it will dump yours too. You've heard how we plan to give for good. Now it's your turn. What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the management and staff of Stoop Pharmacy in Leader. Wishing the citizens of Swift Current the very best this holiday season and into the new year from Mayor Schaefer, City Council, and staff of the City of Swift Current. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Gus, Louie, and George at the K Steakhouse and Motel. Book your Christmas party or New Year's celebration today. The grand finale for Swift Current Centennial brought the holiday season to the downtown core. We bring you some of the highlights in this report. Following weeks of behind-the-scenes preparation for the Light Up the Future Centennial event, floats and other colorful entries were ready to hit the streets of Swift Current for the light parade presented by the Swift Current Lions Club. Despite the freezing temperatures, crowds of all ages lined the downtown core to cheer on the various parade entrants. waiting for Santa to arrive. And following the parade, it was time to catch up with Santa and drop a few hints of one's wish list for the season, okay. while meeting up with some of Santa's elves along the way. <laughs> Merry Christmas from the North Pole. Send a letter to Santa, everybody. The evening celebration included a variety of activities, including horse wagon rides from Memorial Park and roasting marshmallows around the fire. And the crowd had a chance to warm up indoors at the Lyric, where the scene was set with the Festival of Trees, sweet treats at the bake sale, and an array of on-stage entertainment. A well-rounded evening, which was pleasing to those in attendance. It was awesome. What great community spirit we have. The whole thing is just awesome. It's like a little winter wonderland. It's awesome. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! A year-long celebration led by Swift Current Centennial Committee, which culminated with a festive evening for all ages. But just taking an event that was already here and just adding so many different components to it so that we can celebrate the holiday season and, you know, and really wrap this thing up in a special way. I, I've been really pleased and, and, and very proud of uh, the individuals that have really been part of this to put it on. Um, you know, it's, it took a lot of work, um, but whether it was the community or the city staff or just volunteers, uh, it's been really, really good. The Light Up the Future event was the third of three major events scheduled throughout 2014, marking Swift Current Centennial. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the board, management and staff of Innovation Credit Union. Wishing you the best this holiday season and into the new year from the town of Maple Creek, Southwest Saskatchewan's hub for holiday shopping and dining. Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from David Anderson, Member of Parliament for Cypress Hills Grasslands. Season's greetings and the best in the coming year from Yogi Huba Bear, MLA for Wood River. Swift Current Taekwondo students are doing their part to fundraise for an international program. We have more in this report. As these Taekwondo students gather for their regular workout session in Swift Current, their club stands out from others in the country. The Swift Current Christian Taekwondo Club raised over $4,500 during a special fundraiser earlier this year, assisting the International Justice Mission of Canada. And after going door to door asking for funds, 
the students raised more money than larger competing clubs across the country and were recognized for their efforts during a special presentation. A proud accomplishment for the club's head coach and team members. It, it's actually pretty emotional because I, I've been blessed with good students, a great, great community to be involved with, and how can you not be touched by that? I mean, it's three years later and we're making a difference here in Swift Current and beyond. It's awesome. And with limited funding from government, fundraisers by local groups such as the one in Swift Current stand out and will assist IJM with its work around the world. So we deal with different types of casework. We deal with sex trafficking, forced labor, uh, property grabbing. Uh, regardless of the case, the case type, our, our goal is to rescue victims. Uh, that might be girls in brothels, that might be families in brick kilns. Uh, we then seek to provide aftercare for survivors. Uh, we also seek to hold the criminals to account. And then we also work to improve the overall system. And as the Swift Current Club prepares for another fundraiser in the new year, these students will continue to meet on a regular basis for their workout sessions, building their self-confidence and a sense of team spirit while attaining their own personal goals. It's been about a little over three years to get to this level, so I'm hoping in about a year we get to our black belts. It's, um, it's just been good for my health, health-wise, just to get in shape. Further details on the International Justice Mission of Canada and the Swift Current Christian Taekwondo Club are available online. Holiday greetings from the Cypress Health region. On behalf of everyone here at Cypress Health, I would like to extend our best wishes to you and your families during this festive season. It's a time for family and friends to get together and enjoy the spirit of the season. The holidays are a time to reflect upon where we've been and those things for which we're grateful. Our wish for you is that 2015 will bring you great happiness, health and prosperity. May the magic and wonder of this holiday season stay with you throughout the coming year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Cypress Health Region. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.